Hey guys, I'm back again and today I wanted to do a book tag. So I am going to be doing the mid-year book freakout tag. I'm so excited to be doing this. It was actually really hard to pick the books to go into each category. So let's just jump in with what I did pick. So the first question is the best book you read so far in 2020. And that has to go to Ray Bear. I got the arc at Y'all Fest last, what was that, November? And I didn't get a chance to read it until the beginning of this year. I am so sad that the release date was pushed back for it because this book is so amazing. And like, I feel like everyone should like, Get to read it ASAP it is so good Jordan is like immensely talented I'm so freaking proud of her I love this book I got to meet her at y'all fest and like she's sweet and amazing and like this book deserves all the success it is just so freaking good next is the best sequel that I read in 2020, I don't actually have a physical copy of it because I listened to the audiobook, but that would have to go to The Obelisk Gate by N.K. Jemison. Like, that book, if you've never read N.K. Jemison, then you, you need to read her Broken Earth series. That's my favorite of her books. And like, it is just, it's unbelievable how good it is. You can easily understand why it won awards and why it was so history making and like everyone should go read that book, that series, ASAP. Next is new release you haven't read yet but you want to. Uh, that would have to be a Song of Wraith and Ruin. And this is another one that I ended up having, oh, look how shimmery it is. This is another one that I had the arc for, but I started it and did not get a chance to finish it. I already had the book pre-ordered, so I'll probably end up reading it really soon. I, I, I need to get to it soon because the beginning was really good and I was really enjoying it. And Rosie is a great presence on social media. She's amazing. And like, the, what I read of the book was so good. And this cover is gorgeous. I just, and even the spine, like just everything about this book is great. <laughs> I, I, I want to kind of stop and just start reading it now. Because I need to get this book read. Next is most anticipated release for the second half of the year. I share a name with this author and I, I'm i hype for this book, which is Legendborn by Tracy Dion. I, I don't know how to describe the book other than like black girl being badass in a fantasy. I, <laughs> I just know that cover looks amazing I am so hyped for it. it sounds good I just so yeah I am just really excited for that book so the next thing on the list is the biggest disappointment and I believe my physical copy of this book is actually in my classroom anyway I listened to it on audiobook too I was really excited about this book I like this person as a person and like I just I've always heard such great things about her work. So I was really disappointed that I it's just not for me. Which is A Court of Fives by Kate Elliott. It just, if it was too slow paced for me. I wanted something that had a little more oomph to it. I was like... 50% through the book and I was like nothing has happened. What is the plot? What what is the conflict other than her just being whiny and angry about everything? And I just I couldn't get into it. So I finished the book because I wanted to see if eventually there would be a plot. There wasn't much of one. 
So I'm not going to go on for the rest of the series. So yeah, that was my biggest disappointment. The next question is what is my biggest surprise? So that one was actually The Cruel Prince by Holly Black. Now I know I'm probably going to get a lot of hate for this because when the first time I tried reading The Cruel Prince, I hated it. I Jude got on my nerves. I couldn't stand her. I still think she's an idiot, but after meeting Holly Black at Y'all Fest last year, I was like, okay, I'm going to give the book another chance. And I'm glad I did. I loved it. I fell so in love with the book. Maybe I just wasn't in the right mood for it the first time and the second time just went better. But I, I'm glad that I ended up liking it a lot more. I am ready to jump into The Wicked King. I believe that's the second one, The Wicked King. Yeah, it's Wicked King and then Queen of Nothing. Yeah, so I'm ready to hop into The Wicked King. I can't wait to read that one. So next book, um, next question is my new favorite author it could be debut or new to me I chose an author that is new to me her name is Alexandria House she is a black romance writer and I've gobbled up two of her books so far this year they were both really good and just her romances are steamy they are real they are raw like I just I loved her so much I decided to try one of her books because I saw someone on social media talk about oh black authors can't use the n-word in books and she was like I can do whatever I want I will write a book that is based off of the language that my people use and I'm not gonna let a white author tell me I can't so I, I was like yes yeah, sis I'm going to read one of your books just because of this and I ended up really loving it. But actually the next thing newest fictional crush comes from one of her books. In her book Let Me Love You the love interest is a rapper named Big South and he is rugged and sweet and would do anything for his girl like he was willing to go hard for her and like just spoil her and protect her and even when other people were trying to air her dirty laundry like he was there for her through everything and he was an amazing father he loved his daughter tried to protect her no matter what and he was a good um father figure to the main girl's daughter so like there was nothing not to love about him and my newest favorite character i will have to go back to ray bear there is a guy in this book named sanjeet he is like the he's a sweetheart he's another one of those big tough guys with a heart of gold he has this whole eternal internal like conflict about his relationship with his parents and his brother and his relationship with his powers and what it means for him and for her and for their prince and just like so much angst and I just wanted to spend the whole book just hugging him like Sanjeet sweetie I, I will protect you you don't need me to protect you but I will be do I will be willing to do that for you like he is my son I love him a book that made me cry I usually don't read a lot of books that I know will give me emotions I just started um, that new website Storygraph and <laughs> looking at what I read I don't read a lot of emotional I I read for escapism so I'm not trying to read cry when I read 
but saying that there was one book that did make me cry this year the obelisscape i'm not gonna tell you why it made me cry because that's spoilers and i need you to go read this book but <laughs> she she's really good at tearing out your heart and curb stomping it before shoving it back in your chest like that book hurts so good next is a book that made you happy i would go with red white and royal blue i wasn't expecting to love this book as much as i did but <laughs> like the interactions between henry and Alex just had me laughing the whole time. I Alex is just so snarky. <laughs> like he's incredibly snarky. He always has something pithy to say. And as he worms his way into Henry's defenses Henry becomes snarky too <laughs> and just their banter just made me really happy I love good banter next is the most beautiful book that I've bought so far this year and that would be Incendiary by Zoraida Cordova like hold on, let me just come on that book There we go. That book is gorgeous. It is like the detailing of it. I'm trying to get to focus. Like that that book is just I love it. Is I I haven't read it yet, but I'm really looking forward to read it. It's it's one of my books that I have to read this year. So that leads me to what books do I need to read by the end of the year? Not including Incendiary and A Song of Wraith and Ruin, which are both definitely things I have to read by the end of the year. I am going to add Wicked Saints and Merciful Crow on that list. Wicked Saints, I, I own both of these books, though I have the ebooks of them. But I, I don't know why I haven't read them yet. Wicked Saints, I really want to read Wicked Saints and Ruthless Gods before, oh, what's the last one called? Something Monsters comes out. So I, I gotta get that done. And the sequel to Merciful Crow also comes out this year. So I need to read Merciful Crow before that comes out. But that is my mid-year freak out. Uh, this was actually a lot of fun. I enjoyed doing it very much. I'm going to try and get these books read. So until next time, see ya.